Okay, so you get acquitted on hey. December 21st, 2012. Your co-defendant, Dewan Noonley, who's also, uh, well, he was 27 years old, he gets cleared hey. out of all charges. But then Marcus gets found guilty of voluntary manslaughter and the use of a knife. He gets sentenced to 12 years. It was, it was 11 years for the manslaughter plus a, another year for the, the weapon. When you heard, were the trials combined or was there separate trials? No, we combined them. Oh, okay, all three. So basically, not guilty, not guilty, guilty. Boom, just like that. So it was In a that sweet order? and sour. Just like that. Wow. So it was a sweet and sour thing, just knowing I'm about to go home, but he has to stay here. And these are guys, all three of you didn't tell on each other, all stood firm and didn't cooperate. Nobody took the stand. Marcus did. He, Marcus took the stand. Like he, he told on himself. That's why we got to go home. If okay. it wasn't for him, we would be in there probably. He took the stand and admitted took, to the stabbing. Yeah, he was just t- saying like it was all me. It was me. It was me. It didn't have nothing to do with it. Like so stop even looking their he way. He actually exonerated the two of you yeah. on the stand, knowing what he was facing. Yeah. Right, and and there were other witnesses as well, right? Other other people were there and, and so forth. Oh yeah, they had it. They had about 13, 14 people snitching. Yeah, I mean it was a two month trial. I, I yeah. assume there's a lot of people taking the stand. When you found out about the not guilty, were you ultimately relieved, Deal? Yeah, but I was, I was very relieved. But I too, I was sad for a lot of reasons. I was sad because people actually lost their lives. I was sad um, because a young man was going to jail. And I was sad um, primarily because I think it's just a scenario that plays itself out over and over again all across this country that just just continues to tell a story or, or a cycle that people, all they'll ever, all they'll ever, I, the reason I'm here today is because I, I know him and I love him and so my, I'm I'm always in, want to be inherently protective, and so he's doing the interview, and I just I the, my th- my thing is the same thing. Then he's a wonderful dude. He's a human dude, and he 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 made the mistake of being in the wrong place at the wrong time, and some bad shit happened. Um, but I think that it's sad that so many moments in our lives are just unchangeable. Like everybody has them, and ours was just. It's just, it's, it made me so sad. I remember crying after I heard the verdict because I was so happy that he was getting ready to come home. And so sad that so many people never would and so many lives were changed forever. And it was just, it's, it's it, like he said, it was bittersweet. 